Alrighty guys, so I upgraded my brakes on my um, Norco Bigfoot. Um, they went from a cheap mechanical, similar to this one. These are the Tektro um, M280s. Yeah, so these are the brakes that came off my, my Bigfoot. Um, you know, honestly, they're a pretty decent brake as far as just entry level. They stop the bike well. I took it on a few trail rides and down to about... I think like minus 15 celsius and you know they perform pretty good um yeah no huge complaints but i just i still wanted a little bit more break so of course your disc goes in like this um so with these brakes you'll notice when the cable pulls them it's just the one side that moves and squeezes in so i feel like you're constantly um just kind of like almost ugh, that's a bad angle almost flexing the the uh the, the disc rotor into the pad that's that was kind of the feeling that i got um it made like kind of a funnier noise compared to like my regular um like a shimano um, hydraulic brake but um yeah so they worked well um they still stop the bike there is adjustability on the one side so with the little hex key you can um going to ch change the, the pad adjustment as you wear down the pads you're going to need to adjust that um yeah and then this side i don't think is adjustable at all but yeah so that's your basic mechanical brake um so you'll notice too here where the where the cable goes through um there's no rubber uh, grommet or anything like that that it, that it channels through either um i did read that guys had issues with these as temperatures got super cold, um, I'm thinking like minus 30 Celsius, which is about minus 22 or yeah, negative 22 Fahrenheit um, and colder. Guys said this bungs up with snow and ice and they just kind of fail and stop working. So um, I never got that, but I never got that cold either. Um, so to move to like a basic hydraulic brake, these are the Shimano um, M, what is it, M400s that came on my trance from factory. Um, honestly, they're a great brake. Um, I did want to move to a four piston brake for both both my trail bikes. My Torrent came with uh, four piston Tectros. They've been great. Um, these stopped the bike, they did good, but I noticed I was, I still came in too hot in corners and I felt like I couldn't shed enough speed. I'm about 200 pounds, so I wanted a little more bite. This is on backwards, um, but that's okay. So with these, obviously hydraulic. So hydraulic fluids in here, in the reservoir, you squeeze this, the pistons inside, you can see through there, pistons on both ends, squeeze the pad. Um, there's no pads in here. So as you can see, pads are in this one right here. Um, squeeze the pad and squeeze your disc which stops the bike um yeah these work well so cold weather um these use mineral oil so i've had uh you know the consensus on kind of cold weather riding uh, mineral oil gets gets kind of uh thicker a lot sooner than dot fluid so a lot of people go to mechanical brakes or they stick with with uh hydraulic with dot fluid um dot fluid is what cars use so they've been kind of proven to last in these cold temperatures. So the other thing I've heard, um, I've heard mineral oil can leak in the pistons here um, when things get super, super cold. I'm talking again, minus 30, minus 40 Celsius, which is again, negative 22 Fahrenheit to negative 40 Celsius. Um, I did have some leaking come out of this little nut right here when I did have these on um, a previous fat bike. Uh, I'm not sure if that was maybe if it was loose or if it backed itself out or however that happened. Um, yeah, and it was I was just chasing it like crazy. It kept having to to uh, re rebed my brakes and sand my pads down and all that. It was a bit of a headache, but it worked. Um, it worked okay for the most part. I did get down to that like minus forty mark with those. Um, they were the Shimano M three sixty fives. Um, very very similar to these and they they still worked but I didn't want to have to deal with 
any kind of fluid with my um, with my new fat bike. Um, so instead of going to hydraulics with a new fat bike, I got rid of these. I kept the same lever and I went to the BB7 brake. So these are very similar um, to, hydro to those hydraulics. They're a single piston. When you squeeze the brake, let's see here. Sorry, I've got bar mitts on the bike. When I squeeze the brake, that pulls down nice and easy. Um, and the pads actually squeeze on both ends of the, uh, both pistons squeeze in, much like those hydraulic brakes. Um, again, there's adjustability. So on both sides of this, there's a knob here and a knob right there, that little red guy right here, that wheel. Um, so that can, as you, again, as you uh, wear your brake pads down, you're gonna wanna adjust these so they just notch in. Like that, one click, one click. So you'll, you're gonna wanna move those in. Um, so a little bit more kind of maintenance, day-to-day -day maintenance. Um, obviously there's no bleeding brakes, there's nothing like that. But you do have to, once you notice that pad wears out, you're gonna have to, you know, turn these in a couple notches on both sides, just to, you know, keep, make sure you keep having that good bite on your, on your rotor. Um, the other thing with these brakes that I noticed, so they have this, these nice little rubber housings here. Um, so I think this helps knock snow and ice off or mud or anything like that. Um, Cause yeah, I did notice I had a little bit of um, almost like a sticky initial bite, but I think there's snow built up right on the very end here. And then as I kind of um, squeezed my brake, that knocked off and my brakes were totally fine. And this was down to minus 41, which is like a new PR for me. So yeah, um, and then it's simple. Cause if you have any issues, replace the cable and you replace the outer housing if you need to. And yeah, bada bing bada boom, you're, you're good to go. So very, very simple brake. They perform well. The harder you squeeze, the more brake, the more bite you get. Um, they modulate really well because they're mechanical. And yeah, really, they're pretty simple. Um, as far as having them on a trail bike, I think I'd rather have a four piston like the big, big brakes. Um, they just seem to bite better. They stop better. Um, yeah, and then hydraulic fluid, which is fine in the summer months. So yeah, that's kind of it with, uh, with brakes. Um, again, yeah, I should say because these are hydraulic, there's no adjustability with these. You have to bleed them every once in a while, uh, make sure the, the fluid's clear, but that's about it. So this is kind of my video of, uh, you know, cheap, El Cheapo brakes to, you know, entry level mechanical to high end or entry level hydraulic to a high end mechanical over there. So yeah. Anyways, if you have any questions about brakes, um, feel free to ask and, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.